it's a hole from a lift goal. Yeah, but best in field stadium, League Cup game, the uh, Lithgow Rose versus Newborough. Apparently, uh, the Lithgow Rose are the holders of the League Cup, uh, and of course they're getting promoted as well. Uh, they've won the East of Scotland League and they're getting promoted into the Lowland League. Uh, without any playoffs, again, that's probably a controversial matter, but for the winners of the West of Scotland League uh, won the licence, I think they had applied South of Scotland League winners did, so there wasn't any playoffs. So they're automatically promoted to the Lowland League. Hey, a big thanks to the guys who brought me in to have a look. I was opening the gates for another half hour or so, so I'm going to have a look walk around the ground. I've been here once before, um, but I didn't do a vlog, I took photographs. So I'm going to do a wee walk around for those that have not been before. Yeah, they've got a nice wee disabled bit here, shelter disabled, the enclosure is quite good. And it's called the Robert Williams and Shelter. We've got a good bit of terrace in here, a good covered enclosure. And we've got the good stand over there, it reminds me of a wee bit of Socky and Gala and all that. And Preston, in fact, it's quite a no bad stand, eh? Hail the gallant. Yeah, let's go Rose. Right. We've got this massive hedge at the back there. <laughs> As well as the big hedge behind the gold, they've got the, the raised bank in there, it's quite good. Oh, it's, it's a glass fix, it looks a wee bit warm down there. <laughs> I don't know if we're warming up there, I've got the cones out to stop them going well, up. Nice, the fish looks okay though. Raised at the side here as well, next to the stand. So it's great, it's not bad to be sort of you all rounds are good grounds.
As this, the team's coming out for half time, I didn't need the half time review really, but well, I'll do one now quickly. Um, I mean, it's all, well, let's go dominate the game. Um, surprise, they're only 1 0 up. I think when they're only 1 0 up, I'm sure Newborough will be saying, hey, we've got a chance here. So I think let's go off to up their game a bit and uh, turn all the possession into goals. As I say, a game of two halves. A lot of these guys, you bring your kids along, they, they gave me, they just play football behind the goals there. It's got a lot of these guys out there, it's good. <laughs> good fun. Oh, 
Substitution for the Lithgow Rose, coming off number 23, Dale Baxter, he's replaced with number 18, Harry Brash. Well, I'm sure that was uh, Harry Brash, I'm sure that was a guy who was three tips from Roxburgh, his body. Again. I saw you at Brooksburg, eh? Right, aye, aye. Right, and your laddie was playing the night. Um... Playing the night where Cliffy came on for the last 20, 25 yeah. minutes or so, aye. Ah, I thought you played alright, yeah. So you're, you're a proud dad then, aye, eh? Aye, <laughs> aye, you didn't want to really. embarrass him too much, eh? No, not too much. No, no. Well, hopefully that'll aye, continue, well, eh? He's been playing with the 20s at Lifke, aye. and he's been doing well there, so they gave him an opportunity, which yeah. is brilliant, aye. That's good. I hope he's done enough to impress. I thought yeah, he's done alright. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Okay, it's good, it's good like, seeing you again. Aye, well, there you go, an easy 5-0 win for Lithgow Rose, but for much of the game, eh, although Lithgow Rose dominated, um, for much of the game, it was 1-0. And, eh, you know, anything can happen at 1-0, and uh, they had a couple of chances, and, eh, but uh, in any of Lithgow did um, get the goals, their domination um, proved. Uh, it was really good meeting the guy, uh, Andrew Brash, his laddie. I'd met him at Broxburn, um, but his laddie plays for the under 20s, as he was saying, and, uh, but he's made the breakthrough. Uh, a couple of sub substitutions, the uh, last couple of games, I believe. Uh, but it was nice meeting him again. As, as, I, as I always say, it's great the people you meet at the sick games. Uh, and also, one of my former neighbours, I mentioned that, uh, Mikey Chalmers, his laddie David plays in goal for Newborough. <laughs> so it's amazing, to, as you say, it's a small world. I don't know if I did as much interviews this time, but I do like the Lithgow ground they've been before, as I say. It's a good stand and it's a good covered enclosure, and uh, most of it's uh, either terraced or they've got the banking, so you get a good, a good view from the ground. I'll just leave it there, folks. So, as I say, thanks very much for watching, and uh, as I always say, if you want to show your support, please like, share and comment and I would appreciate if you subscribe. It would mean a lot to me and I'll see you behind the goals.